and I'm trying to cross play. What will happen? Wait, that's not true. Hang on. And how do you pronounce that? Hannah, we're from LEGO Education and uh, we're here to announce our new concept which is for elementary science. So what's the difference between um, we do 1.0 and we do 2.0? We're now wireless. So it's the, the um, Bluetooth low energy. Yeah, yeah and we're on tablets. That's one of the changes. Another change is specifically on the curriculum material. We have developed a concept that is a combination of three things. The LEGO bricks. And relevant digital uh, tools such as programming and curriculum material that is matched to the next generation. And that all comes standards. in one very easy to use plastic yes. case. From here, the students will access a project. They will take step-by-step -step instructions, follow them through digitally and build a model such as the one we have here following the building instructions. In the end, they will connect the model to the device from the Bluetooth Low Energy Hub you see in here. When doing that, you're connected and you can actually program your model. Cool. This one is a modeling activity showing how the relationship is between pollinators and plants. So in this case, we have the right pollinator, a bee, to a right type of flowers. So when playing this button, so it will move around, it will find the flower, and it will play a sound. We have eight guided projects linked to all from physical science to life science, earth and space, and engineering. If I do, oh look at that! So I'm actually controlling this. And you have, oh, did you hear the bee? The bee sound. Here it comes again. So this is a good example where we use the RGB light that's included in the hub. So if using So this is an actual connection happening that fast. It does. So when I click on this one, I can see the one flashing. That's the one I pick. And now I'm connected. That was really easy. Really quick. And you did that from within the app. You didn't have to go out to no. the control panel. And what I can do now is I can make a program where I want to change the color or have another color on it. So if we take a close look, I can pick it to be purple instead. Well, a brick set like this is suited for two students. With this one comes the core software, including the Getting Started project. That's $159.99 for two students. For the curriculum part of it, it's a school license. It's $289.95 for the full curriculum pack with more than 40 hours of lessons. One I think we should take a look at is actually one of my favorites. Just get it started. So this one is, uh, is actually a, a project that is about physical signs such as structures. like this one, we have the model here. This is the earthquake simulator. What I will do now is I'll try with the house. I'll put it here and I'll try to cross play. What will happen? Wait, that's not true. Hang on. Stop. Do it like this. Ah, he was the wrong one. That's a good thing about programming. Then I feel debugging, finding out what, what went wrong. We'll try to push play. We'll start slowly to move. I have a one. Now I have a two. It moves faster. Now I have a three. And now it's over. Okay. So then I can try another construction. I can try maybe a lower house. If I put that one on, I can test again now. I can push play and start slow. So it's a little quicker. Already now it's better than the first one. You can see that the low house is better than the tall house. Alright, so I have, I have a real challenge for you. Can you turn this light a different color? Yeah, I'll try it. And you did not know this was coming. I just threw it at you. Right out of the blue. I can do it like this, for example. I'll just build this one while while the house is coming down over here. <laughs> yeah. 
So let's give it a shot. I'll push play. Oh, man. See now it's playing number one all the time. So let's let's change that one. Take some different ones. Let's play again. This is completely unscripted, out of this traditional demo, and you have succeeded. Danish ingenuity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much for the tour. You're welcome. And uh, how do you say uh, goodbye in, in Danish? Farewell. I, I'm half Danish. Half Danish? Yes. So we could speak in Danish now? No. <laughs>